My kids, especially my <laughs> youngest one, Isabella. What are you doing tonight, Bella? We're watching Housewives. There you go. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's appointment viewing. All right, let's turn now to your pinpoint weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca is in the Weather Center. Do you watch the Housewives, Tony? I don't, but uh, in, in a small world, my brother actually knows Andy Cohen. Wow. Yeah. Wow. One degree of separation. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Only in New York City, right? All right, Ray, on the way, you heard that rumor, but if there's any good news uh, for the weekend, and, and that is, you know, Halloween Sunday is still looks dry, but uh, another storm on the way for Saturday. Now, by no means is it like the one we had on Wednesday. That was, you know, pretty rare in itself, but some rain and some wind. In the meantime, we're dry, mainly cloudy every now and then, little cameo ray of sun coming through the cloud cover. It's quiet this evening. You're heading out. Weather looks fine. Now through midnight, you don't need an umbrella. You go to those high school football games. It looks good. I mean, bundle up. It is, it's chilly. It's in the upper 40s to low 50s, 53 in Providence. But after midnight and through really most of Saturday, uh, rain is likely. So a dry, cool evening, and it's a soaker, especially during the afternoon and evening. It's uh, widespread rain. Some gusty wind now, you know, this last storm, 60, 70, 80 mile per hour wind gusts. We're thinking gusts 30, 35. So blustery on Saturday and some of that rain heavy at times. Halloween Sunday still looks good. We'll show you that in the seven-day forecast. So just cloudy skies overhead right now. You see the rain is still south and west of New York City. Uh, big circulation across the Midwest. This is our next weather maker. This will track north and east. So this is what it looks like right now. When we take it into the future, and then just watch the time bar right up in here, you see that shield of rain approaching after midnight, now this is uh, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, a band of rain. So one band of rain comes through overnight, but then there's more moisture to our south. It's going to ride up the coastline as well. So tomorrow morning, it's more like scattered showers. But watch this second area of heavier rain overspread afternoon and evening, some downpours. Potentially one to two inches of rain, especially afternoon and evening. And with a lot of the storm drains this time of year clogged up with leaves, there's going to be some standing water, maybe even some minor uh, street flooding. So be mindful of that traveling on Saturday. And then even Saturday night, we still have precipitation that lingers and then it's gone on Sunday. We'll give you more more of a hyper local look here. And starting off this evening, it is quiet. Temperatures um, in the upper 40s to low 50s. And then you see the rain overspreading the area late at night. This is around 1 to uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. And then notice during the morning hours, it's more of a scattered shower, but keep an umbrella nearby. It's in the 50s. Now the wind is kind of busy out of the east and southeast. Now notice during the afternoon the precipitation becomes more widespread. You look at the colors here and you know the intensity is starting to creep up a little bit. Some downpours, maybe the rumble of thunder in a few spots. Look at this by 6 o'clock in the evening on Saturday. Uh, heavy rain, temperatures in the uh, lower 60s, a few thunderstorms. And then Saturday evening, Saturday night, it is still raining. All right, so for tomorrow morning it is uh, showers are likely. Initially the precipitation is light. And then it comes down a lot heavier during the afternoon and evening hours. Go easy on the roads. Temperatures that are in the upper 50s. All right, seven-day forecast showing a better Sunday just in time for Halloween. Partly sunny skies, uh, perhaps an isolated shower during the afternoon, but it's mainly dry. And it looks good for uh, the trick-or-treaters uh, Sunday evening. That you know that time frame between like 5 and 8 p.m. Uh, it's dry, it's comfortable, it's cool, but it's not too too cold with temperatures in uh, the 50s. But uh, yeah, soak around the way, kind of a half and half week. Weekend, Mike, but uh, Halloween looking pretty good. Kids and can, parents will love that. Yeah, you can download the Pinpoint 12 weather app by scanning this QR code you see here on your screen. We show this code all the time, or you can go to our website at uh, WPRI.com. Uh, but uh, grab the umbrellas for tomorrow. All right, Tony, thanks. Yeah. Kim?